So today our sea monsters graduate to their chicken tractor full time. It's pretty nice outside and the lows for tonight are going to be 70-ish. And then it's going to fluctuate from there on out as far as nighttime temps are concerned. We moved Heidi yesterday to her own paddock because she's about to farrow. We also rotated our boar's paddock. Oh man, it's starting to rain. Oh man, just check radar. No. Good morning, Heidi. Need to get you some hay today. We'll let you build your nest when you're ready. She has a bunch of Italian rye to eat up, a bunch of clover. So today, the meat birds, they're gonna graduate. I got the locking system fixed on our chicken tractor. So I'm just going to, instead of dragging it all the way to the area where they're gonna be at, ah, oh, it stopped raining. I'm just gonna tow it with the side-by-side, -side, be much easier. Work smarter, not harder. So I think I'm gonna put it on the other side of the ducks. There's a lot of good clover in that area. Plus it's a good size area. But I'll, what I want to do is measure out the area to see how many days I can get out of this one area. They're due to get processed the weekend of July 4th. It's quite possible I can get, I don't know, maybe 35 days out of this area. So, fingers crossed, that's, the, that's for sure. And we need to get our garden going. We are officially three weeks behind on gardening. We haven't got a seed in the ground yet, but this is the field. We're gonna put the chicken tractor in. I mean, look at all that clover. Good stuff right here for the sea monsters. Caroline, we got trim these limbs down right here that's overhanging, yeah. especially this one right here. Definitely gotta do some trimming. Now you ready to let the chickens out? Yeah. All right. Feed. You got freckles covered with feed. Doctor just pecked her for the feed. Now we can hook up the chicken tractor and we'll drag it to this field up here. Caroline forgot to let the red coop out. Ah! <laughs> Daddy dropped my gloves. Oh, that's your excuse. All right, let's get the red coop. Wait. There you go. Unhook your hooks. You gotta push in that tab. Yep, just like that. It's hard with the wet grass. Good job. Now you wanna get the other side. Alright, now let's throw that in back the side by side. You're probably gonna have to turn the chicken tractor around facing west Why? put our kickstand there so we want to face our chicken tractor that way we could probably put it right here start actually yeah a lot of clover starts right here and then goes up there's not really a lot of clover there so we'll start it right here Yep, 
be a lot easier if the rope wasn't wet, huh? Mm-hmm. Because then it'll just hurt your hands. All right, this is our last batch to go in. And then we'll go get their feet and water. Luckily, Caroline saw one fly to the top of the brooder and was hanging out at the edge of the brooder inside the garage. So, they are definitely ready to come out. They are used to the grass because we've been transitioning them. And we also have kept the heat lamp off for the past two nights to get them used to cooler temps. We're going to cut these pieces off since we're not using these as locking mechanisms. So now it's time to go ahead and give them their water. I added some apple cider vinegar to it. Now when I give them their feed, they're going to be like little velociraptors. Look at them. Our, oh! The, the lid came off. Look at them, they're going nuts for what's spilled. So I can sneak in over here. I tell you, they're crazy, I tell you. Right, let's get them their water. Now this water here that I'm putting in here is only temporary. I do have a waterer that I'm making, it's gonna be permanent. Let's make sure it's on level ground where it's not leaking out. Looks like we're good. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll shut this. I did forget my cutters to cut these pieces off, but that's okay. So the sea monsters have finally graduated to the chicken tractor full time. It was a, uh, a semi-slow transition. I wanted to get them on grass during the day for about three days and then take them in at night. And when they go in at night, I don't turn on the heat lamp. I also have a AC running in the garage. I wanted the sea monsters to get used to cooler temps at night. They did great. So they are ready to go. Very proud of the build. This is our first time doing meat birds. It's about six o'clock in the morning. I've been dying to come out here to check on the meat birds, see how they did their first night out in the chicken tractor. We were supposed to get some storms last night. It was like we didn't. I had some leftover vinyl paneling that I put on top of the hardware cloth just to give them some extra surface to stay dry. Looks like they did great. Good morning. It's not time for them to eat yet. I'm just going to come out here and check on them. And there's their water I made for them. Looks like they figured that out. So I can take that one out. The sea monsters did great overnight. Let's go check on Heidi real quick. She's due to Pharaoh any day any day now. Good morning, good morning. How's Miss Heidi? I gave her some hay yesterday so she can start building her nest when needed.